Hey guys. Can you hear me? I'm using a new microphone today. Oh, hey Acid. It's been a long time. And Sid's here. Hey girl, hey. Sorry guys, I'm just, I literally ran in here. My timer was like, you're supposed to be live sitting down there now. And I was not in the room. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Happy Thursday, everybody. Like I said, I feel like it's quarantine Thursdays again. I know some places have been in quarantine this whole time, but where I'm from, we just recently went back into lockdown. Which is why my numbers are higher here. It's usually, when y'all are locked away at home, what else will we do but paint? Am I right? Can you guys actually hear me okay? Because I bought like a cheap little microphone. I won't lie to you. It was not expensive. And it's actually supposed to be clipped to my shirt. But if you can hear where it is right now, it's a little bit of a delay. Delays seem to be story of my life recently. I don't know how to fix anything, so a smidge of a delay, but not that bad. So it could be my microphone or it could just be my connection. Because we've had that problem before too. Dresden! Hello! I don't know how I missed your message earlier. Won't stay long. That's okay. Any presence of yours is appreciated. Well, happy holidays, everybody. How are we doing? How's it going? The screen looks a little blown out, but we'll see how that goes once I start painting. Should I clip my microphone right here, just like this? Like I'm in an interview? Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> I think it's better here. Okay. It's almost Friday. That's a positive. That's a positive for sure. It's almost Friday. It's what? Where am I looking at my calendar here? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight days till Christmas. How do we feel about that? How many people are making this painting to give us a Christmas gift? Because apparently a bunch of people who painted, who did we paint last week? Um, the Grinch. The, 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 the Grinch. A lot of people are giving them to gifts and that's kind of exciting. Sydney's making this a gift for themselves. Perfect. That's, treat yourself. Take a selfie. Not a selfie. What is it? A shellfish. Take a shellfish. A selfish? <laughs> Why can't I speak? Take a selfish. All right, that's a Shit's Creek coat. Um, so excited for the birdies. Can't find me on Instagram. Why do I feel like I just saw a DM from you? You are in the right spot. I'll send it back. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. I don't just gab away like I always do. We can get right to painting. I have done this paint night a couple times, like at a couple live paint nights where people were allowed to be in the same room. Um, and it always goes pretty well. It's pretty straightforward. We need like four colors. Blue, white, black, red. Easy peasy, right? But you know I never paint. Uh, Asa, that means you probably should paint. Maybe this is your sign that it's time for you to paint. <gasps> Thanks for the props. Love that ice cream. <sighs> Let's go over some... I hate calling them rules. I feel like I need a better name than rules. Oh. Ken Max Brown. Coming in with the Putin Uni. Oh, I gotta click it. I just love the little Putin Uni. All you guys out there, if you press the little, like... There's a little arrow when you go to that little unicorn and a little arrow pops up on the bottom, on the top right. If you click it, it'll do something super cute. 
Uh, also, hi, Max Brown. It's been a while to see you. Insidious Fire made it. Oh, okay, good, you guys. It looks like a bunch of you are slowly creeping in as we speak. I'll go over these rules we speak of. Oh, my gosh, Mac. I didn't even know that you could just click on the uni. That's how good I am at my job. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Um, uh, any of those cutie little props that people send down there, you can always click them, and they do fun little things. Everyone watching on YouTube, that doesn't mean anything to you because you can't even see them, and that's... Another reason why you should make it to a live. Am I right? Okay. Let's go over the Tateski rules. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> okay? My audio's messy. We're just gonna... One second. Oh no. Okay, can you hear me better now? Is now a little bit better? Maybe? Testing one, two, three. I've literally tried like four different microphones and nothing works for me, you guys. I'm gonna need a pro to send me a link to a good one because it's not working. I feel like I just screech so much that I've just blown all of my microphones. Greatly apologize. If this is better, this is what I got. I don't know how to fix it other than that. So we'll try that out. We gotta get you a Britney style pop star. I might get like a big pink glowy one maybe that will just sound right here. It'd be perfect. The one I was using was like this funny little like Anyway, okay, well, we'll just get rid of that. Okay, Holly, first time here. Great to see you. Welcome to the studio. We're going to painted these cute little birds down here. Beep. Um, we're going to start by saying this is not my original painting. Like, this is, I painted this below here, but I copied it. I used someone else's piece as a reference, like, years and years and years ago. I will find the name of that person. I haven't yet, but I always in my YouTube videos will give credit when I find them. My speaker may be set too high. Uh, did that do anything? <laughs> because I don't know these words. Why? Yeah, but like, how do I fix that? Let's see. I am in OBS. I am, I am. Guys, I need a full-time technician that's in this room with me. It does have some volume sliders. I see it. I see it. Everybody else, just get out some blue and white together, okay? As we figure this out, I'll go over the rules. Um, it's, I was using a microphone and they said that was even worse, so then now it's just the microphone from my streaming webcam. It looks like there's like a bunch of little colorful flailies over there. I would assume mic one is the one I'm using. It's fine, it's fine, everyone's saying it's fine. I know, after hours, I'll have to get, after hours, <laughs> after paint night hours, I'll have to get somebody who knows what they're doing, not me. I'm just like, I don't know how to paint stuff, you guys, that's all I got. Wow, look at the difference of my hand color in this screen versus in this screen. It's another tech issue. <laughs> okay. 
We are. Get over the rope. Okay, look. Sorry, guys. First time here. Let's get this going. Have fun, okay? This is a really... It's supposed to be a stress-free environment. We're going to forget about what's going on outside. We're just going to paint stuff. And it's going to be fun because acrylic paint is very hard to mess up, okay? Because paint goes over top. Acrylic paint goes right over top acrylic paint. You can white out anything. You can cover up your mistakes. Don't be scared to put a stroke down because you're worried you're going to ruin it. Because you're not going to ruin it. I'll tell you right now. You're not going to ruin it. No stress from Nerdy Bales down there. Exactly. That's We want no stress here. It's a stress-free environment, okay? I want you to trust the process because halfway through, this is going to look weird. Like, these birds start out as egg shapes with, like, lines coming out of them. And you're going to be like, Taylor, what are you doing? This doesn't look anything like your picture. I want to give up. And you're going to quit because some people do. But don't, okay? Trust the process. That's the most important part. At the end, usually in the last, like, five minutes, it, like, comes together. And you're like, holy crap, I painted something cool. Number three. Ask questions. People watching at YouTube, people who are watching but maybe not logged into Caffeine, even though you shouldn't be. They can't ask questions, right? So maybe they have the same issue that you are having and you might help them out. Same with me. Like, I'm teaching, like, out of, I don't really know what's going on. I'm just trying my best over here. <laughs> and I might be teaching something terrible. Terribly. So don't be scared to be like, Taylor, what are you talking about? Or, like, slow down. Or, like, can you just... Repeat that. That's fine. I'll never be offended if I explain something crappy. And the nurse O'Shea's right down there bottom. Water, water, water. Water is your friend, okay? If something is acting weird, like your paint isn't pulling across your canvas, add a little water to your brush. Water in acrylic paint is very important because usually most of the issues that you'll be having is because there's not enough water on your brush, okay? So keep that in mind. So now, I think that's it, right? Just like have fun, okay? We are going to start with schlobbing a bunch of paint on the background, okay? It's a very easy, stress-free part. We are going to take out blue. I'm using Prussian blue, but you can use whatever blue you want. This is, can you see it there? Prussian blue. We're going to take out a little bit of black. You don't need much of it, just a tiny touch of it. Uh, it's funny that the mic sucks when I talk loud. It's probably because I just, I always screech loud and I've ruined all my microphones. Someone's just got to send me a link to the best streaming microphone that's easy to set up. Okay. Done. Um, black, white, and we are going, or blue, black, and we're going to need also a little bit of white. And you're going to get a big brush out. Your biggest brush you got. Where is It can be a square brush. Uh, let me see up here. It can be a square brush. It can be a rounded brush. Really whatever you want. Maybe a rounded Whatever's easiest. I'm probably going to use this square one myself. If you guys come to my paint nights often, you'll see, you'll know that I love square brushes for some reason. I use them more than not. Kenzie, for sure, hello. Um, I started off with a little baby microphone and everyone said the sound was weird. So I, I just took it away. Alright, are we ready? We've got a big paintbrush. We've got blue, white, and black on our palettes. Let me just put this guy down a little bit so you can see. And this sounds super bad for you. Is it just slow bad or like quality bad? Like is it delayed? That's a different story. It's crackling. Is it crackling for everybody else? And an echo? Whoa, nobody mentioned that. Um, nurse has it fine. I don't even have music on. 
I can still hear your lovely voice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I really don't know what to do. <sighs> I'll just whisper the whole time. Okay, everybody, we're just gonna, we got, I don't, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so, we're just gonna, I'm gonna talk quiet, or I'm gonna paint something. Okay, doke. And it's fine for you, it's weird that it's different for so many people. Kenzie, I need you as an IT person. Okay, everybody, we'll start with getting that paintbrush wet, because water is our friend, right? And we are going to start by going just right into your blue. Mix your brush around in a little bit so that you get all your bristles wet or filled with paint. And we're just going to start by like slobbing this paint on here. Like no rhyme or reason. Water's like pouring out of my brush here. And as we throw it around, we're just going to put the blue in this center streak here. And again, like I'm going rough, like we're going left or right. Don't have to worry about which direction your paintbrush is going. This should be a stress-free part. You're just kind of flailing it around. Okay, and then this is where it gets a little bit different than what we usually do. <laughs> Nobody excite me. I have to keep my voice at this level. Monotone Mondays. <laughs> okay, and what's a little bit different is now my brush is still, there's still blue on it. I didn't wipe it off. I'm gonna go right into my white and I'm gonna start at the top. Just gonna try to blend that line in together. See how it's not pure white, like it's still blue but there is a difference in value because I got a little bit of white on my brush. And remember, keep using water. You can keep putting your paintbrush back in if you feel like it's getting too white. Then put your brush right back into the blue and just kind of blend it back inside. Like this is gonna be, if you are stuck very close to your painting and are worrying about every stroke, it'll be very hard to do this carefree, messy background. Like remember that this is gonna be very covered up. You can hear my paint. You can hear my paint, but you can't hear me. <laughs> I mean, just kidding, not you can hear me, I guess. <laughs> but um, this is an ASMR. It's an ASMR channel today, okay. Um, but don't worry about this being clean. It's totally okay if it's messy and crazy looking. We're just kind of trying to keep it a little bit lighter on the top half, the darker in the middle. We're still gonna like go over with pure white. See how on top here, there's a little bit of dark blue and there's pure white over top. We're still gonna do that. So we don't want this layer to be pure white. We still want it to be the lighter blue color. Realistically, the brush is closer to the microphone than I am, so that kind of makes sense. Not talking loud is really hard. Like, I'm exhausted already. <laughs> okay. And again... Don't worry if you brought the white too far down, because guess what? You can just go right back into just your dark blue and go back over it and clean some of those spots up if you want. We don't need the line to be smooth. It's okay if it's a little bit blurry, but water being your friend is a big deal in this one. The water will really help you. If your paint has no water in it, you will have a very difficult time blending things around or pulling that paintbrush nicely across the page. We're not even listening to music right now. It's a weird day. I feel like music might make the sound worse, wouldn't it? Ah, just... It's a day, you guys. It's a day. Okay. Keep going in that direction. And we're going to be doing the same thing down here. 
But guess what? Just black now at the bottom half, okay? And remember, black is very powerful. I still haven't cleaned my paintbrush. It still has the white and the blue on it. And I'm going to start at the bottom. And see how that's really dark and scary. I'm going to clean my brush a little bit. And go back into the blue. And same thing. But we're keeping the dark kind of contained to the bottom third of the painting. Looks so different on there. Tad Way! Sharing my broadcast, thank hmm, you. I don't know that one. She was listening to me. Did you hear that? Alexa. She literally heard me. Nothing. Stop. Cancel. Do you guys know that if you whisper to your she who must not be named, she'll whisper back to you and it's like really uncomfortable? <laughs> Anyone who has an Alexa, whisper a question to her right now. Be like, what's the weather? Alexa, what's the weather? Oh, you guys probably can't even hear. She's whispering back right now and it's creepy. Okay, when it comes to this black at the bottom, you guys, it's going to be very easy for the black to overpower your painting a little bit. So I would only put a little bit of black at the very, very bottom. My palettes and our canvas easel is in the way. Now we still want that paint to be wet before we go back into our blue and maybe a touch of white too, but mostly blue. And you're going to blend that around and see with adding the white in there, it makes it a little bit more similar to the top color that we have. Let's see. It's funny, doing paint nights that I've already done before, they're like almost harder for me because I've tried to remember how I taught it last time instead of just like doing it organically. So we'll see how she goes. There we go. Buffering it out. And depending on how blue you want the background, if you look at the picture below us, it's a little bit muted. So you can pull this gray bluey up higher over top of your blue if you want. But it's completely dependent on how you want the color to go. Because remember, we're still going to be like dry brushing, which is something we don't do often. But we'll be dry brushing this white fluffy whatchamacallit, over top of the background, wintry scene or something, I don't know. But again, like see how not precise I am with the background here? I want you to do it too. It might be hard for some of you guys to detach from being very conscious of every brush stroke and where you lay everything, but we want this background to be like textured and crazy and random. <laughs> Is that an okay? Was that the right word? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to let you guys play around with that for a bit because it's probably going to take some people some more time. And we need it to dry completely before we go to the next step. How's that going for everybody? Like I said, whenever it's silent, it's 50-50. It's either going really well or it's going frustrating for people at home. So <laughs> I need you guys to let me know. Unless my audio is so bad, you're just like muting me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Mm 
It looks kind of pure white at the top, but it's not, I swear. It's really where it looked. Guys, I hate technology. You're just going to hear me say it every time. Why is this camera so weird? Where should I go with that? Okay. Alright everybody, I'm not hearing anything from you, so we're just gonna go for it. After I put on some music, because I can't sit in silence. Okay. How are those textured backgrounds going? Yeah, somebody asked me if I got a new phone. Um, but uh, I, I'm not using it. I did get a new phone, but this is still the broken one. <laughs> I don't have a case for the new one yet, so I don't trust myself. Okay. Someone's saying you went and got your mini fan for your lash work to dry it quickly. Okay, well, that's being innovative. Mine is just about dry. So we're going to talk about the next technique. We don't have to fully start at this second, but it's a little bit different than things we've done before. We're borderline dry brushing this next step, even though I just for the last 30 minutes went off about how water is important and that you should use it all the time. But now we kind of want this dry brush effect. And I'm going to be using the same brush. You can be, again, it can be rectangle, it can be circular, it can be whatever you want. Just a bigger brush. And I'm just drying it off at the moment. You need it a tiny bit wet, but it's mostly dry. <clears throat> and you are going to get your brush with some, like, I got the white paint on it. And see how on my palette, where can you see? Maybe over here. I'm going to rub my brush in a spot where there isn't paint to kind of work it in a little bit. And then we're literally just going to pull these very, see how it's not a full brush stroke? It looks like, why is it frozen? It looks like almost like sandpapery. So this is going to be a little trial and error. And again, it's going in the background, so it doesn't need to be as perfect as you think. A tiny touch of water on your brush that might help. You'll see once you start pulling it around. But I'm just going to be like lightly pushing and pulling these strokes that are kind of, they're like translucent -y and textured. And we're doing that by not too much water. We want to see those like rough strokes. Like, 
and you're probably going to be stressed painting right over top this background that we did. But if you look at the picture below us, we want it to be almost white in the background. We painted this color underneath it because we wanted to add a little bit of a base so it wasn't just a pure white background. But I am going to randomly just start roughly brushing these dryish white strokes on top of the top half of the painting. You're not going to press too hard. You want it to be like, again, look at how messy and mismatched and weird that is at the moment. But we're going to be doing that all over the top half so we get a nice layered look of that um, wispy. Oh, if yours is wet, wait, yeah. Wait till your base layer, layer is dry for sure. You can do that by like fanning it, you can blow dry it, or just wait. Paint Acrylic paint should never take longer than like five minutes to dry. And play around with like how much paint you put on there, how much like this rubbing point, like where you put the paint on your paintbrush, but then you wipe off some of it. That's very important so you're not just putting a pure white stripe through the canvas. But again, remember, if you do just make a pure white stripe through the canvas, we can just paint over top of it. And again, like we want it to be crazy. We want it to go in different directions. When you do this dry brush technique, you can really um, pull the same, like I loaded this brush. I call it loading. Like you load up the brush with your paint, with your paint, wipe it off a little bit. And now that it's loaded, you should be able to go across this canvas many times. And see, like, the more that I go, the more, like, translucent and rough it gets, which is, like, even better, right? You kind of want these, like, crazy textures and lines. Just is so blown out in this one spot. Let's... Hmm. We'll just see how that goes. But yes, completely make sure that your base coat is dry. This can be, you can do this for a long time. It, you won't get ahead without ya. I never, like, I just, just I can't say, um, this one won't take long. It should be quick, because every time I say that, the paint eyes take forever. So, we're just going to see how she goes. <laughs> If you don't find your paint pulling well enough, add like the tiniest touch of water onto your brush. And the lower down you go, the more translucent or transparent or whatever you want these little strokes to be. We kind of want to show that dark at the bottom. And see, like I loaded my brush a long time ago and I'm still getting some like cool textures out of that dry, crazy brush. Okay, let me know how we feel about this one. It's kind of a newer technique than one we've done before. Do, do, do. This song is called The Holiday Season. This is royalty free Christmas. Here we go. So one thing you want to acknowledge while you're doing this dry brushing with the white is like we want the birds to go on top of this, right? So you can kind of, if you want to, anticipate where the birds will be and just kind of white out that space a little bit more. If you're worried that your blue, your red paint won't go over top your blue paint very well, then maybe add a little bit more white in that spot where the birds are roughly going to go. Not a necessary step, but maybe if you want. I always try to anticipate like problems that you guys might arrive to at home. 
I guess just the main thing with this stage is like don't treat it too precious. I'm going to say that like 40 times today, but it really is one of the key things to remember when you are painting anything really. If you stay super close to it and you're only looking at it close and you're not like looking at your painting from like really far away and acknowledging the whole piece, it's very easy to get caught into like these little details that like honestly don't matter. Like no one's going to see them and they're not going to make a difference to your painting. But they're going to make a difference to how long you spend on little menial things, you know? At least that's what I live by. <laughs> Some artists love little tedious things. And I just think like, no, I want to paint more paintings. Not the same painting forever, you know? Big pot! Today you forgot is paint with Tatayski. You don't even have a canvas. That's okay. Remember, it's on it's gonna be on YouTube if you actually want to paint another day. Not the end of the world. You hanging out in the peanut gallery is always great. Look, see, look, there you go. Look, you're going to try and entertain us all as we paint. That's that's what we're looking for. Oops, see, look, like I just put a pretty big swipe of white on there. And now just go in with your paintbrush and just like... Just brush it away. <laughs> okay. And see, with, with the dark being underneath, it kind of helps your eye think that that's far and back into space. Not like space, but like in space. Also, I was thinking back to my old paintings and I realized my problem, I have no patience. See, I don't either. So that's why you just gotta change how you paint. Just paint like loose and quick and finish paintings off quickly. That's what I was saying before, like, some people like to do paintings that take them, like, months and months and months, and, like, for me, like, if a painting takes me longer than a week, like, my brain, like, checks out. So I just learned to paint quick and impatiently. Okay. How is that going? I'm gonna need a, a what you call it, um, an update. Oh, see, my paintbrush is way too wet now. A process update from anyone painting. Where are we at? Should I wait a little, let it dry? Are we like move on to the next part, Taylor? You're so slow. Are we none of the above? You still need to dry a few minutes, almost done. Cool, that's totally fine. Like I said, I'm not trying to rush you. I just, I never know where you guys are at. I have to sit down, windows open, candles, chips by your side, music, and just paint. You know what's funny is I'm like the opposite. I need to have like so many distractions around me. <laughs> like TV and or music and or lots of breaks in between. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit for those to dry, and realistically, I think the next part will be black for the branch. You should have black on your palette already. This isn't me starting, I'm just giving you a heads up for what's coming up next. Here's where we're going to take it back to do the... I just about called them stems. They're branches. Where are they? Just taking out a little bit of black. And again, remember, if once you finished all of your dry, wispy white parts, and maybe you're like, oh, this is too black, I want it to be more blue down here. That's fine. Wait for it to dry, get some blue. A tiny touch of black, and a tiny touch of white. Oh, Taylor, I'm not getting on this whole time. 
and just come in there and pop some more color in there if you want. Like I'll go in with some blue, a touch of black, because you don't want it to be pure blue. Remember, I'm not doing a step, I'm just doing damage control in case there is some. Like, you can bring in some more blue down there if you want to. Realistically, you could probably even just brush it on opposite of the white you just put on in that same technique. You can kind of like lightly wisp it around if you want. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You're just thinking that moving day for me would be oh, hell. You're not wrong. This is the biggest studio I've been in for the longest. And like my career's grown the most since I've been in the studio. So to be honest, moving out of it is like a nightmare. It is truly a nightmare to think about. And I have, there's no like set in stone. Oh my gosh, sorry for the yawns. There's no set in stone date that we're leaving. But this September we signed a lease saying that we'll just be here for one more year. So realistically august we are supposed to be out of here which is a scary thought we'll see but you just thought of something cute okay okay go ahead i would love to hear it sid says just stay i know but the sad thing is well i'm growing out of this studio already too which is pretty crazy but um but Dan doesn't have like a, he doesn't have a, whatchamacallit, he doesn't have like an office. So my studio is the master suite <laughs> of our apartment and then our bedroom's like the tiny little bedroom. And, uh, and then Dan doesn't have like a, like a desk, like an office. And that's hard to like do work. You don't have like a space, you know? Um, person sees you move in, sees your cute, quirky painter set up for a perfect romance story. <laughs> I love that. Hey, fan fiction, I love that. That's great. Quirky little painter moves into the big city. <laughs> um, I know it might be time for a house. And it's probably time for, like, an out-of-home studio as well, which is, like, exciting and scary at the same time. We'll see. Lots of big things coming in 2021. Which is crazy to think that it's like one, two, like two weeks away. This might be the last time you guys see me for a while. Cause I'm not gonna stream on Christmas Eve. Um, but I might, maybe Christmas Day. Not Christmas Day, New Year's Day. I'll stream. We'll do some activity of some sort. Um, I can't wait for my children's book. Thanks for dropping that, Sid. I, uh, it comes out March 30th. It literally goes to the printers tomorrow. Excuse me? Pretty crazy to think. And Donna says, what stream on Tuesdays? Wait, I mean, Tay, sell the paintings. Hold on to memories. Is it too positive? It's just gonna... <laughs> Say it with me, positivity. Ew. No, no, I'm a positivity fairy. We're always positive here. Donna Ray needs paint nights. I guess Tuesdays. What am I doing on next Tuesday? We might be able to do it on Tuesday. Like I said, I always bring it up on um, Sundays. I'll post my schedule for the week. Maybe on Tuesday. Where's my phone? Remind me in an hour to plan. Oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> Remind me in an hour to plan random paint night days for next week. Okay. Cool. A pineapple or a leaf? That would be good. Also, I'm just feeling the repercussion of Stanley's death. Don't know why it took so long for you to realize. I remember exactly where I was when I found out Stan Lee died. It was longer ago than I thought. It feels like just yesterday. 
And Donna, I actually found a great um, reference photo for a pineapple painting. It is on my list. I won't lie to you. Okay, I'm going to imagine that they're a little bit, that we should be close to being dry because I just gabbed away for a while there. Okay. We're going to draw some branches, all right? You're going to take out a small, skinny, pointed brush of some sort. Pointed is probably helpful this moment. We should draw a and koala. <laughs> just saying. I'm picturing it like that, like Bob's Burgers girl that twerks just a little koala, like. <laughs> okay, we've got a little brush out, all right? Tia, that's your name. Um, and we are going to get that brush wet, and we're going to go into our pile of black down here. And same thing, you're going to work that brush around in the water and the paint so you get it nice. Every bristle's filled. The paint is in a nice watered-down consistency. Not like chocolate milk consistency like we usually talk about. We mostly want more paint than water. And we're going to decide, like, where... Let's see, where do we want to make that branch? Let's go right um, here. Sure. And we're just going to draw a line. Neat. Sound effect necessary. Okay. How's that? We've got a line. Cool. And this, like, you guys can freestyle these lines if you want. Don't feel like you have to make this branch exactly like mine. But the easiest way to do it is to just start laying out where you want the lines to go. The direction, etc., etc. Let's say this comes up again, and then the birds will be right here. How else does it go? Birds will be there. Beep. I kind of made my branch a little bit higher than the picture, but that's fine. Maybe that comes down there. And I'm just making crazy lines, right? And then we will make their thickness after. We're just laying out where we want them to go. And like I said, we'll play around with their thickness in a bit. Uh, let me see. Get over here. I feel like the branches that I originally drew in the first one don't really make sense, but that's fine too. <laughs> just that's fine is my quote of the day today. Uh Okay, okay. If you are worried about your paint not going over the black, like if you're worried about your red not covering black, Maybe we'll wait till the end to put the branches in there. Not till the end, but after we put the bird's tails in. Because I don't want to set anyone up for failure that you paint those lines and then you can't paint over top of them. Or it. Again, depends on your paint quality at home. So why don't we just leave it at that for now. Okay, and then now you can go and kind of play with the thickness of each branch. Like maybe we'll make this one because it's kind of the main one. Let's bow it out a little bit. See how what I did there? I just kind of made it a triangle. And then just like fill that puppy in. This is pure black, which is kind of nice. We don't really have to worry about value or shape or whatchamacallit. We're just going to start coloring in these branches. Just to make them a bit thicker. As you can see in the picture below us here, we're going to put some snow on it. So that's fine. Wow, sorry. I don't know why I just keep saying that's fine today. I 
Maybe this one has just a little... Can't speak today, can just make sounds. Okay. You don't even have to make it into a triangle if you don't want to. You can just start painting the line thicker as it goes, and then you can decide how much thicker you want to make it. Okay, let me see your first or worst paintings. That's a tough one because I have been painting for as long as I can remember. Um, my first or worst, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am a little bit of a perfectionist <laughs> when it comes to just my painting, really, not really much else in my life. And, uh, like, I won't, the painting's not done until, like, it's good in my eyes. So, like, I'll paint over it, or I'll, like, give it timeouts, or I'll, like, tweak it until it's good. But, here, I can show you, this is actually, this is fair. I'll go onto my Instagram quick as I fill in these branches. See, I'm just adding little lips. I didn't say burn all the mistakes, I just cover them up. So, I mean, there's no mistakes because you just cover them until they're gone. And it looks great. I make mistakes. I'm not saying I don't make mistakes. I do make mistakes, but I just tweak the crap out of them until they look good. And then, and then what's a mistake? Yeah, I cover up the evidence. Exactly. That's why I watch so much crime shows. That's how I know. Just cover it up. It's my life motto. Fake it till you make it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. While you guys fill in your branches there, I will. I think I did a side by side on my Instagram a while back. Let me see if I can. Find it. While you guys fill in your branches. Okay, beautiful. O'Shea, I just saw your update. It looks great. And I'm on here because... Okay, 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 okay. Wow, it's still loading. The world hates me today. Just kidding, every Thursday the world hates me. <laughs> wow, it literally is still loading. Oh, I just got Happy Manders. I just got your memo. Maybe I'll try to push this a little bit farther away. What in tarnation? My internet's literally timing out on my computer. Well, that's just lovely. How are those branches going, everybody? <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're just going to cancel that. I guess I'm just going to show you on the phone. Um, tell me you haven't rewatched Friends over and over again. Oh, I've seen Friends more times than I could even count, to be honest, all the way through. Friends, Hi Much Your Mother, Gossip Girl, Will and Grace, Full House, not, I'm a basic, I'm a basic bitch. Sorry guys, 
<laughs> sorry, not sorry. Where is that side by side that I was looking for you? I'll have to look again because I'm assuming you guys are done on the branches. It was a quick one. Um, we've. Uh, oh, here we go. Where is it? There's a side by side of of self portrait in 2010. It is only with pencil crayon and the other ones with paint, but that's a progress picture. There you go. Hey, no problem. <laughs> um, everyone rewatched Friends. It's not that good. The thing about Friends is you needed to have like grown up watching it and then it, of course it's good anything that you grew up with has a nostalgic factor that doesn't matter if it's actually good or not but it brings you back to when you're younger and that's nothing beats that feeling okay everybody we're going to do either or you can splatter or you can individually actually hand paint on these snowballs okay so in the picture we see down here, you can see that most of them have been hand painted on because they're big splotches, right? So I just have the same paper that I was using to paint those um, branches with. <laughs> I don't know why I can't just say branches, I have to say branches. Okay, and we are going to get white. I just need a little bit more white on here. If you guys know how to splatter, you can splatter away. I'll teach that in a second. But you probably still should paint a couple of them on. We're going straight into our pure white with our little brush. We've got lots of water on our paintbrush. And literally just like paint a circle. Easy peasy, am I right? Maybe this one's really big. Degrassi High was for you, Sid. That's your show. I've honestly never seen Degrassi. Is that a Canadian crime? It might be. Did I make up a word? Probably I do all the time. Which word are we talking? Sometimes I say words so confidently because I be truly believe they are real, but they aren't. It's just a Tayism, apparently. So I'm just going around making little circles of pure white. Oh, big <laughs> yeah, big pot. I did make a word. It's schlob. Schlobbing. Just schlob paint around on a cat. And so I was use, I've used that as a term in my paint nights for oh, like a year now. And a couple months ago, somebody rudely pointed out that it could be a very, it could mean something not nice. Well, not nice, not rated PG. Oh, I just realized I'm wearing a friend shirt. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. Um, uh, so my girlfriend pointed out that schlob isn't always the nice, it might, it might be a, not a good word. And I said, no, I'm reclaiming the word. So I went on Urban Dictionary and I made a new definition. And then I told everybody to go like it, to bring it to the top of the definitions. And I just told everyone, don't go underneath mine now. Mine is the only definition. All the other words don't mean anything. It's not true. <laughs> what did I say when we started this, guys? We schlobbed a bunch of paint on the canvas, do we not? Right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now, see, you can do that over and over again. You can make tiny ones if you want. If this is the cleaner way, the cleanest way. She just needs piercings. I don't have a, like, I don't, like, I have a boyfriend, and when I say girlfriend, I meant, like, 
a friend of mine that's a hero. But I do have piercings. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, fine, but sad. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay, um, sorry, I was saying about... I got distracted. It's not the first time. I, people thought I was a lesbian. It's not the first time. <laughs> oh, it won't be the last. Um, so, if you want, you can just snow paint on hand drawn what am i saying you can hand draw every single snowflake if you want or if you want to get a little crazy and personally i think it's more fun this way with that same paintbrush you're going to go into your water and you are going to slob a bunch of paint a bunch of water onto your paint and you're going to mix a tiny touch of paint into the water to make it like a chocolate milky consistency okay and loneliness has made it hello hello i'm good i'm a mess as usual who are you kidding just all over the place but good how are you doing We've got this chocolate milky white consistency down here. And remember I said hand putting it on is the clean way. This is the messy way. Be careful that there's going to be splatter everywhere. But you're literally going to flick the paintbrush. Or if you don't want to do that, you can pull the paintbrush. Or you can tap, tap, tap it with another. I just got some in my eyeball. But you can tap it with another paintbrush as well is another way to do it. But I just think it's the best if you just get in there ding, 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 and just flick the paintbrush just a little bit. Someone was saying that theirs looks like a freaking blizzard. Because as long as you're in my chat, you'll be distracted. Hey, no, 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 it's okay. I'm supposed to be distracted. Or I paint too fast or I don't talk at all. So you guys are welcome. You may have started your shift, so I'm happy that your broadcast is still going. Oh, pleasure to have you here as your sh for your first broadcast of the day. Because you're in Poland? Right? Am I wrong? I feel like, yes! I remember. Okay, everybody, we've got blizzards. Some people have little bits of snow. Some people have no snow. You do whatever you want. But I'll bring it closer, just see like some of the snow up there. Just a little bit of splatter, never hurt nobody. It's in Poland, it's 5 a.m. Okay, and it's 9 p.m. here. That's just so crazy to me. Time zones blow my mind always. Also, this is a violation of privacy painting two intimate birds. They didn't consent. You don't know. Maybe they did. Okay. Our next step is going to start the birds, you guys. Guys and gals. Sorry I say guys all the time. We'll see how she goes. But we are going to get red out. It's time for red on our canvas palette. I'm going to use cadmium red deep here. Again, use any red you want. You can use a bright red. Whatever. They were totally okay with being part of the broadcast. They were honored. It's an honor and a privilege for their love to be shown on screen. Okay? <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that Dan and I have been having some altercations with some very tough pigeons on our patio here downtown. We might have won the war. I'm not going to lie to you. Recently, we might have won the war. It got aggressive. One flew at me like it came at me like it was going to come into our apartment. And I shot it with a water gun, you guys. That was, the, that was my safety net. It was a water gun. And I think we just annoyed them so much that now they just don't come back. <laughs> just kidding. It was a safe, healthy way of getting rid of pigeons. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I posted about our issues often. Of the pigeons. Because they just like shit everywhere and there's feathers everywhere you put your branch too high to fit the birds hey so one thing that might help you i don't know how high you did it 
but maybe like see how we're gonna be like if you look at the picture below us see how we're gonna put snow on top oh yeah another below that's true you can put your birds like for example if this was all raised higher you can put your birds on the lower one and put pump push the other branch to the back maybe but what i was going to say about the snow is like we can with the white you can cover up a bunch of your line and bring it down maybe like half an inch more if you want that might help but okay are we ready to start some birds anybody i wasn't lying when i said they literally are just going to be eggs we're about to draw two eggs are you ready freddy's Insidious, look at you just solving your own problems. You're a pro. Okay. We want some water on our brush when we get our little, I'm using the little same paintbrush again. And you want some water on your brush to be able to pull it around. And it's okay if this is like light and a little messy. Again, we're just going to start some shapes to lay out where these birds will go and we're going to be painting right over top of them so that the lines are ugly or if you have to do a couple that's fine let's start with just an egg like right let's do right here egg numero uno this is the bird on the left hand side okay just an egg and this is on the top of his head we still need to put his head in there so acknowledge how much space you have I think I made my branch a little high too. It's fine. The motto of today. It's fine. Right? It's fine. And my egg went overlapped a little bit over top of my branch. I don't know if you guys can see there. It just went a little bit over top. You can even make it a little bit chunkier if you want. I don't know. Maybe he's chubby and cute. Okay. Easy. You're good. And now let's do another egg, but this one's just like leaning against the first egg, okay? So it's just a little bit of an angle, but it's still just an egg. For some of you, it might be easier for you if you're working flat, for you to move your canvas so that it's like you're painting the egg straight but your canvas just moves so that it is put on an angle. Some of you might not need that, but it might help some people. But look at that. Easy peasy. Two eggs. One's leaning a little to the left. One's holding on for dear life to the other one. Cutie little birds. music just makes me feel like I'm at like a circus or something okay we've got two eggs now let's bring a tail down underneath this guy and this again different ways this might be might be easy for you guys to just make in one swoop the tail for some of you it might be easier to get the center of the egg and make a line straight down and use that line as your like marker to make his tail. I'll bring it closer so you can see. Like I said, for some people it might be easy for you to just do this tail in one swipe, but for some of you it might be easier to put that line down the center and kind of use it as a guide, grid, point. Oh my gosh. We're going down. My neighbor just dropped something huge upstairs. What are you doing? My floor is shaking. Apartment life. Okay, we've got a tail down there on that side. Now out of this one, his tail's going a little bit to the side, kind of like how he's on an angle. His tail is also on an angle. It's probably on more of an angle than what I gave, but that's fine. And this guy also has 
It's behind. Oh, oops. It's supposed to go behind the branch, but that doesn't really matter. We'll just put black on top of that. So we can make this one a point, but he also has one other little tail right over top. Another layer of tail. I'll bring this closer for you. I love how you can create from these two eggs minute later a beautiful bird, just like in real life. Oh, check that metaphor. It is kind of cool though, hey? Shapes, man. I'm telling you, shapes are the secret to drawing anything good. Okay, so we've got some tails, we've got some eggs. I'm going to make this tail a little longer because why not? Oh gosh getting a little fat that's fine okay and now up the side of this bird you're gonna start by just following along this egg right and just bring a line straight down from it straight down off the edge I would stop on the eggs because you're pretty bad at paintings Loneliness, you weren't here to feel the hear the rules at the start, but nobody is bad at painting here, okay? I bet you if you were following along, you would have made some cutie little birds. Okay. I think the bird is almost ready. Now let's make a head on top. Are you guys ready for a head? Don't be stressed. We're going to come to where the egg starts getting thin at the top. And we are just going to draw a line straight up. Just a little line. First of all, you'd have to buy paints and all that stuff. Yeah, I know. The supplies are the hardest part. I know that's fair. That's why i got to bring back the drawing nights. So you don't need all the supplies. Like, most people have a pencil, at least. Or a piece of paper at home. So those ones are a little more like achievable and less intimidating for people, but. All right, and from this point, you're gonna make another line straight up. You're following for now. And again, very dependent on you as a painter, what you're comfortable with, what strokes are easier. If you look at the picture, you can see that their heads are a little bit rounded. They're not perfect squares. But for most people, it's usually easier. Like, we will make this line. See, it's going to be on the same angle. We're going to make a line from one line to the next. See how it goes up a little bit? And at this point, it's just a box. A little devil egg. Yeah, it kind of was a little horse. <laughs> it was a little deviled egg. Well, you guys today, all these puns are just very perfect. And, but for some people, it might have been easy for you to paint it with that bubble. See how it has a little bit more of a curve? When, there's, when you draw the rectangle down, it, that sometimes helps people to make the curves after. But some people, it might be easier just organically in one stroke paint that bubbled head in a little bit better. Like see how now it's not a perfect rectangle. I've bowed out the edges a little bit just to buff them up. And then out of this little guy's head, we gotta make one little poof. Just kidding, it's not a poof, it's a line. And again, same thing. We can draw a triangle sharp, like a sharp edge triangle. And then from that triangle, curve the lines a little bit. But once you start getting used to starting with shape when you draw or paint or whatever, then you start getting better at making those curved lines organically without having to start with the first geometric shape. But everything can be drawn with shapes, which is more dynamic or not. I know it looks weird, but guess what? His head actually comes down here, so it's going to be fine. You don't have to make that line. I'm just, I can already feel that people are probably like, what? <laughs> 
Okay. Are you still with me, folks? Let me listen to this, like... It's called On the Ski Slope. It doesn't feel like that's a fitting name, but that's fine. Okay, now we're going to go to the second guy's little body. And same thing, like, let's bring up a line. Or, again, if it's easier for somebody, maybe it's easier for you to just fully draw that rectangle first. And not go line, line, line. Like, maybe just seeing this square is a little bit easier for you. I don't know. You know what these songs remind me of? I don't know if this ages me or not. Or if you guys grew up with them too. But you know those little, like, electric keyboards that you could have when you grew up as kids? And you they had, like, preset songs in there that you could, like, click. And it would be, like, it would show the little tempo and then play the song. And you could like jam out to it if you wanted. Anyone? Anyone? No? Just me? <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, we've got the square here. And the difference about this guy... Your son has one now. See? Okay, perfect. It's not aging me at all. We have to make this guy's face a little different, okay? We're going to come up directly from the top left corner of this square, which is his head. But we're going to just start drawing that rounded triangle right up the top. See how it's not a straight line, it's curved a little bit. Like I'm following a line. Whoop! If you were painting, you would make your birds gay. How do you make paint gay birds? Well, you'd paint them exactly the same <laughs> as we're painting... These potentially are, maybe we are, maybe they are. Also, maybe these ones are gay birds. Sid says add a little glitter. Hey, that's a good suggestion as well. If you need it to be obvious, maybe give them both bow ties. I don't know. Okay, here we go. We've got even more facts here. Technically, they are both male cardinals because of their color. Thanks for that fact. I didn't know that. So, there we go. You stand. That's one. But the whole point is, you don't paint them different. <laughs> you paint them the same as everyone else. Okay. Okay, so we've got that feather coming right out the top of his head. And we're going to bring it back down like a shark fin. Again, if you want, maybe drawing it straight helps first. And then you can add a curve to it. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, now we've got some crazy looking things going on here, right? <laughs> we support the cardinal. What is a woman cardinal? Is it just like brown, probably? Because all female animals are just not as pretty as the men. Browner, yeah. Assumed. All right, you guys. You guys, right? You two guys. <laughs> um, let's lay out where we are going to put some of their features. And then we'll color them in. Actually, I lied to you. Let's paint those little, um, I'm assuming they're what? Cranberries. <laughs> Is that what these red things are? I swear women in the animal kingdom have such basic color schemes. They do, but look, another fun fact. AMC, you're just coming in with the facts today. Harder to see by predators, so we're sneakier. It's just funny how, like, women and, like, humans, how the women are, like, the colorful and um, makeup wearing, like, you know, while all the birds in... Um, I don't know if you guys watch, like, Planet Earth or whatever, and, like, all the birds are so, like, colorful and beautiful, and they do all these dances, and they look like they have, like, like, they're in drag all the time. I love it. Holly berries! Holy berries? Holly berries. They probably are. Not cranberries. <laughs> How do cranberries grow? I don't know. Let's go for it. Anyway, we're just going to add some holly berries. Okay. To the drapes also, hello, drapes! 
Um, let's add in, again, we're just going to draw circles. Some can be big, some can be small. Again, very dependent on your paint quality. You may need to paint these pure white first. Okay? And then paint the red on top. Like if your red isn't powerful enough to be painting, to be painted, to um, cover up the blue or the dark background that you already have, then there's nothing wrong with going in again with white first, letting it dry. Mountain ash berries. Kay, you got all the knowledge today. Guys, I just blindly listened to your suggestions. Remember, we learned something new in the studio, and I do too. Every, every stream, we learn something new. Mountain ash berries. Whatever they are, they will, I feel like we would draw all of these berries the same anyway. Alternate their sizes. Say paint big balls, just say it. Don't try to avoid saying it. <laughs> it's funny, when I was painting, when we were painting a snowman, it was like, and now we're painting the body ball, and on to the torso ball, and on to the head ball. Okay? Cherry, cherry, cherry. Or not cherry. It's for sure not a cherry. Take that out. It's also nice for some of them to overlap on top of the branches, but also you can hide some behind so they're not overlapping. You like pretend like the branch was painted right over top of it. Like what? Maybe they're a rare exotic grape. You never know. You never know. Okay. One, two, three. It's so funny because last time you guys know, like, I broke my phone on live. And I don't watch my, like, I don't really watch these videos back very often. I literally just pop them on YouTube and I forget about them forever. But then that one, I always had to see when I dropped the phone. And it's so funny because I never used to have a front-facing camera when I started these paint nights. Like, it was always from the side. It was just one camera, and you would see the side of me painting as well. And I was just re-watching the video where I dropped my phone. It's so funny because you guys just see my, like, focused paint face half the time. <laughs> where I'm just like... <laughs> um, I always forget about that angle. Who GL, wow, that's really good. Thank you. Can't wait to show everyone else people painting at home. At the end of the stream, we share their paintings too, which is always a good time. Okay, how's that for some all the above? Holly berries, mountain ash berries, what was the other one we said? Exotic grapes. <laughs> Oh, West Coast, Washington, 30 miles. Snowhomish. Snowhomish, Washington? Okay, okay. Are we talking miles north of Seattle? Isn't that Canada? Is my geography correct? But you saying miles makes me know that you're not actually... No, you're American. <laughs> I just realized... It's east of Everett if you know where that is. Dan and I actually did a road trip through the states once. We went down from Calgary, Montana to Vegas to LA to San Francisco up to Seattle to Canada. I know I, I do live in Canada, but it doesn't mean I know all the places. But I do know Everett now because of our road trip. Okay, how are them berries? Very good. You. Awesome. I'll bring them close so you guys can see. Yes, GL, I'm just a little Canadian gal. We're a lot more west than you. Not a lot more, but I mean east than you. 
if you're by Seattle. I'm a, we're in Montana, north of Montana. Oh, well, there you go. Perfect. I love that. All right, everybody, let's get some black on our brush. 300 cousins. You have 300 cousins in Calgary. I don't have 300 cousins. Okay, we have black on our brushes, right? And what we're going to do quick here... Oh, but all over Canada. Okay, okay, okay. That's fair. Um, what we're going to do here, it's going to feel weird at the start, but we are going to just bring... I'm using still the same black small paintbrush. And I'm just going to lightly brush stroke some black up from the bottom. See how I'm stroking it perfectly up? I'm always going down to up, down to up, down to up to kind of get that texture in there. We're going to be painting red on top of it, so it's okay if it's not perfect. It's getting high increase your painting skills. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it increases your skills, but it does let people like re like let go, like be more carefree when they're painting, which can be a positive, you know? I'm not going to say it's going to make you a better painter, but it might give you a little bit more freedom and flow. Um, what kind of birds are those in the lower right hand corner? They are cardinals. Cardinals? That's what we're painting now. We're going to paint those birdies up here. And with that black, we are going to do the same thing under the belly of this beast. Just kidding, of this precious little cardinal. Yeah. Just a Christmas bird. I was calling it a Christmas bird forever and somebody on my other stream told me it was a cardinal. I wasn't lying, you guys. Always learning. Always learning on lives. <laughs> so see, we've got those bellies started. And again, the reason I'm doing this is it just kind of gives you some extra space in case you make a mistake. You can cover over it. Realistically, we could have painted this whole bird red and then gone over top with the black. I just like to maybe help out in a different way. With this bird, though, too, we are going to trace that egg edge because his big belly is in front of the bird in the back. So we want to paint this black line there to show when we color it in red, it'll look like he's in front of the other one. And look who it is. We got Joe Kaiser. How you doing? Welcome to Adult Art Attack. <laughs> okay realistically if you want you can put some in the bottom of that wing too but not necessary we are going to go on that tail and we're going to do the same thing just bring on some of that dark for the top third of that tail Same over here if you want to. Again, we're going back over the stuff with red, so it's okay if it's a little messy. You can clean up whatever. Whatever, whenever. And again, just in case your red isn't strong enough, because it's possible that it might happen for some of you, you might want to draw their beaks first before we put the black fully on. For some people, it might be okay to paint it black and paint the red right over top. But again, not for everyone. That, that won't work for everyone. So we are going to come down to where... That takes notes, seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, Gia, well, I just want to say I'll be back here new to streaming. Well, welcome to Caffeine Streaming. Come back anytime. I'm glad that we, we caught you. Okay, we're coming to the neck of this bird down here. Thank you for the follow, GL. I appreciate it. Go hunting. No, you never have never have to stay always. Okay, so remember with our bird here, we have the egg and we have the square on top, right? 
conveniently it's kind of placed where we're going to put that beak. You're just going to follow that line of the egg, right? And you're just going to make a triangle at the top of it. See how I'm doing that there? I followed the line of the egg and I went straight up and now I'm going to cap it off to make it a triangle. I'll bring it closer. You can even be straighter if you want it to be. Right? And from there, you're just gonna, with black, do that same old brushing technique so we get some feathery looking. Wow, that was a terrible quote. I just air quoted with four fingers. <laughs> Um, to look like that feathery texture. Again, I'll bring it closer. Can you guys even hear my terrible music today? <laughs> And I'll bring this close again to show where. So if you look at the picture down below for us here, you can, or where's my brush? Whatever, down below me, under here. You can see that it's almost like they're kissing cuties. And we've kind of already built where that beak is gonna go. You see where the overlap is, where the square is. We're just gonna pop a little triangle in there. Oh my gosh, it's so hard for me to paint this way. One, weep, weep. Just a little triangle in that spot. I'm just getting paint everywhere. It's just a disaster. So we've got a triangle, but it is hidden behind the first triangle because the bird on the right is in the front, so his features and items and shapes and whatever are always going to appear in front of the one behind, right? And then same thing again. Let's just fill in. Do, do, do. Where that little face would go. Again, don't stress too hard. We can tweak and fix some of those shapes. It's going to look a little crazy there for now. But we're going to fill those in with red. That's our next step. Also, remember for you people that were worried that your red wouldn't go over top of black, you can use this time to paint some branches in the background if you want, right? Behind those um tails that now we've painted them in right so you don't have to worry only if you want i'm just adding some branches sure how's that Okay. I'm just getting branchy on us here. Just assuming that some of you might need a couple minutes, but if you are waiting on me, just start painting in that bird. Mmm, ranch. <laughs> Kenzie's gone for a while, comes back hard with the ranch. I'm just making my brush, paintbrush a touch bigger to fill in these shapes. You can fill them in with that skinny brush we were using, but it'll just make your life difficult. When you're trying to just fill in large surface areas, I always suggest a bigger brush. But I'm just going to go into this bird, and when you get down to that bottom part close to those black spaces we've already gone on, 
you can kind of roughly paint right over the edge of them and it'll, some of your red will cover some of the black and some of it will keep it nice and buffered out see that how it smooths up the lines a little bit you can even go in and paint that up down up down with the red instead of the black Remember, water is your friend if paint isn't pulling across the canvas well. Maybe you need some more water on your brush. But again, oh, maybe you want to cover over the black completely that you've already put on. You can do that with red. If your red isn't covering up over the black, then again, it's back to that white game where you will use your white. Sorry, I'm allergic to this red. And instantly my nose just got so itchy. Um, 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 what was I just saying? Oh, if your red doesn't cover over the black, then you might need to put, do another one of those layers of pure white first, let it dry, and then paint red over top. That usually a pure white layer usually covers over a uh, difficult co color to cover with another color and see right when we cover up those lines like now it's already very obvious that that bird is in front oh my gosh my nose just instant running It's another thing I learned on stream. A girl pointed out that I'm probably allergic to cadmium. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not been confirmed, but literally every single time that I take out these reds and oranges, like I feel it right away. Like my nose is so itchy. And see how all of those lines that were just helping us lay stuff out, they're gone. Now we got some nice, beautiful, deep red birds. Their beaks are also white. And again, if you don't like that triangle that you made originally, now's the time to fix it with the red. How are our birds looking? I might have made mine a little bit chubbier. One's a little chubbier and one's a little skinnier and that's how I like it. <laughs> okay. And again, like, amount of qual of detail is totally up to you. I'm not gonna suggest everybody does it. Something that you can do later if you wish. If you want to add a little touch of white to your red, and give them a couple like belly highlights not everybody has to do it if you keep that bird flat red it'll also be very fine look how subtle i just added some extra dimension in there again totally optional it's very subtle whatever you want but you can add a couple little Lighter highlights to that belly. Remember, we still have a wing going right there. Just if you want. Some people like to do more detail, some don't. Okay. Oops. I probably shouldn't have done that. That's fine. So the birds are basically done. We need to do like four more little dots on them and they will look like the three lines we're gonna put on them will make them completely bird-like. But first we're gonna add snow to all of our branches, okay? Oh, I just kicked the camera. 
So again, paintbrush uh, vary up to you depending on size and style of your painting and of your canvas. I'm probably going to use the same brush that I just used to paint them red. But I'm going to clean it off good. And you're going to get pure white on your brush. And we're not going to worry too much about water at this point. We want kind of big globs of paint. And we're just going to start just slobbing big chunks of white paint and big puffy piles on top of our branches. So we want to go right on the very top and then overlap onto the branch a little bit. It's going to be hard to see at the moment. We are going to do a black outline, but and like, can you see how like thick the paint is? No. Uh, can you see in this top camera? No. <laughs> I'm literally slowing on chunks of paint so that it looks like, like the paint itself will make its own shadows if you put thick paint on. And it'll look like actual billows of paint. My bird on the left looks like Poe from the Teletubbies. Oh, sorry, I just got so loud, my camera probably crackled. Aw, kinky winky. I'm honestly going to have that in my head now. The Teletubby, what you call it, theme song. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Is that, sorry, do you, do, are you asking how to change him from being Poe, or do you like him that way and we should keep him that way? <laughs> One thing when you're doing this snow, always be conscious, the snow is on the top of the branches, so if you look at the thick branch that we've made, it's always going to be on the top half. Don't put the snow underneath, it wouldn't make sense. He's right. Benny, oh, good. Good, good. Again, there's not much rhyme or reason to the snow. It can be puffy, it can be lots, you can put less, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. If you are a glitter gal, gal or guy, feel free um, to drop a bunch of glitter in on this stage. Making beautiful glittery snow would be very pretty. And like I said, right, like you can put lots of paint on. It can be thick, it can be chunky. Because then it'll literally look just like actual snow. Ooh, she's making them smooching, didn't consent. Hey, you don't know. You don't know. Maybe they did. Okay, and how about a little bit over here? Okay. How's that? You can also go into all of your berries and give them just a little highlight of white. Tink, tink, tink. Tink, tink, tink. You might want to use a smaller paintbrush, completely dependent on how big your berries are and your brush control. Maybe you just want to use a little brush. Maybe you want to use, like, finger paint it. That's fun. Okay. And remember, like, if you want to make your branch thinner, now's the time. With this paint technique, you can thin it right out. cooking I can smell it I'm hungry mm. weird. okay
So, while we wait for our snow to dry, because we basically just have to outline everything in black, um, on our birds, we're going to use, I'm back to my small paintbrush. Sorry if I'm going a little quickie. We're going to make some bird feed, okay? And it's going to be easier than you think. We are going to come to where this bird sits his little butt on the branch. And all we're literally going to do with pure white is one, two, three. One, two, three. Look at those little bird claws in a second. Done. And on this side too, we can go one, two, three, just a little, oh, maybe we should do six because they're little Phoebe's. Telescope asking for a marriage. It's the first proposal I've got today. <laughs> it's an honor and a privilege. Okay, how are those little feet? You guys are literally just meep, meep, meep. One, two, three, little lines. Easy, easy. You can even do right on the top of those beaks. You can do one swipe of white. Beep. And another swipe on that beak. Beep. I'll bring it closer. You're amazing, hey? Just pumping my tires, telescope. Thanks. Sweet angel. Here for a minute and you're just... Give me the sweetest compliments. Okay. And while we're waiting for things to dry, this is a completely optional part. If we're copying the actual painting that I did earlier, I have contradicted many rules of painting. <laughs> I'm not painting, but I'm drawing. And I have outlined the bottom in white. Again, completely optional. I'm using a skinny brush. You're using a good chunk of water in your paint because you want it to be able to run smooth. But I'm just doing a nice little thin line right underneath. And for some people, they hate outlines. If you hate outlines, don't feel pressure to do it. But a tip that might help is don't press so hard when you're doing outlines. Pressing lighter is the secret. You can use, like, see my pinky here? Like, I'm holding it on the canvas. I don't know if you guys can see from there. To pull it across. Merry Christmas! How's Canada? Hello, kiddo. It's been a while. Canada's weird like the rest of the world, but we're good. How about you? Where You're in the States, I imagine. How is America treating you? Is it being nice? This music is a band. It's taking me on very different rides around the world here today. At least it's not like mild, you know, porno like last time. It was just like very <laughs> uncomfortable music like by accident. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nice snow painted. Are you saying you are snow painted or nice snow painted here? What are you saying? <laughs> We're actually having like the warmest winter ever, I'm not going to lie to you. I live in a place that is usually our winters, um, they get cold, but we have these things called schnooks. And it's like a weather pattern where in the middle of winter we'll get like spring like temperatures like for a couple days there's just like you can see the wind you can see how the clouds are formed and you know it's coming and it's like nice and warm for a little bit so we are usually blessed for summers or for winters here um but this year has been just warm all around Yes, Insidious, it will be on YouTube. I know I'm kind of coming to the end here. 
Love the earlier blue dominated setting. Are you talking about like my studio, like this background? It's, it is the same, but maybe there's just more lighting in here. So it's not as blue as it was before. Do you guys see my new Saturn? I got a little neon light Saturn, super cute. Okay, so we've got those white. I have to wait for things to dry to another layer over my accidental branch. That is fine. Yes, don't worry guys, this will, it goes onto YouTube literally immediately after uh, I get off here. I click a couple buttons and go just load right to YouTube. I don't edit it or nothing. So it'll be up before tomorrow, but it's, it sometimes it takes, it's quick and sometimes it takes an hour or two to load. You never know. But realistically, I'm just, now I'm just messing around for a little while. I, and we're almost at the next stage. I am circling all of the berries, miscellaneous berries, we'll say. Again with a bottom swipe of white. Kiddo, thanks. It was a long journey to get to that 1K. Thank you, I appreciate it. One day I'll be better at streaming consistently. One day. Okay. Yeah, see, we all think something different. I said that they're cranberry. Somebody said that they are like mountain ash berries or something. What was that you said? And then someone said they might be holly berries. We don't know. We're just gonna berries. They're just an unknown berry. Realistically now, folks, we're just doing the same thing, but with black. Zero, couldn't make this week, but just popping in. Love to have you any way we can. No cross hatching today, that's okay. Okay, lady painting till February. What? What do you mean? Is it because I'm taking so long? Okay, so we've got black on our brushes. Our bird's eyes are literally just a black circle. Oh, last painting till February? That's a lot. Is it because of you, like, work on Thursdays? Oh, and moving. Okay, yeah, moving is a stressful time. That's okay. You do what you gotta. We'll be there. We'll be there. Looks fire. Thanks, little Merc. Can you paint me, you know, do a portrait or something? I could. I'd have to get you on my wait list. It's quite long at the moment, but I could paint you one day. Days are crazy. Christmas time is... Okay, wait, sorry. We're outlining, everybody. I forgot to this next step. After we just do two little black circles, I am just outlining these cardinals, okay? It is busy with the arts. I uh, Christmas is the craziest time of year always, and then add COVID onto it, and it's just like a loco. Which is great. Like, I can't complain. But everyone's home looking at their empty walls. So, um, online sales are pretty crazy this year. Not complaining, just busy. Go, go, go often. The auction went really well. Thanks for asking. Went really well. People were really excited about it. And, like, people from all over Canada got to participate. And mostly people who won actually weren't from Calgary. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm outlining. And remember the same thing. Don't press hard. Use just the tip of your paintbrush. Hello, Maud. Alan. Did my crosshatch sell for seven figures or eight? Justin was supposed to put it up. Uh, Justin should be fired because he did not have no, or he must have taken your masterful, masterpiece to your, himself. Wow. Sorry, I just stuttered so hard and I couldn't say that sentence. Justin kept your masterpiece to himself. Congrats on 1K. Good job, Mod Allen. Thank you. All oh, y'all are just so nice to me. Remember, we're still just outlining the same old, same old. And like I always say, it was probably a sin for me to tell you. 
but if you are uncomfortable with outlining with a paintbrush, use a Sharpie on your own painting at home. If you're just doing it for yourself. Also, thanks for the crown mod. Sorry, I just messed it up. Um, uh, what was I saying? My brain just went gone. Outline, Sharpie, use a Sharpie. If you're just painting something for yourself or for your friends or something and you are stressed to do outlines and you don't want to ruin it or things aren't working, take out a Sharpie. Realistically, a paint pen would be the best, but I don't imagine most of you have paint pens at home. I would imagine a Sharpie is probably more attainable. But on many of the paint nights, there's been people who've whipped out a Sharpie to do the outlines and that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with that. Awesome to hear one. Well, do you think I'll do more? A hundred percent. The auction is going to be something that I will do at least once or twice. A year. Sorry, is what I meant. Um, it, uh, pricing artwork is very difficult, you guys. Very difficult. And to be honest, it was very... It was so much nicer for me to be like, okay, these all starting at 50 bucks, and then you guys, you decide its value. Eh? You decide. Yeah, it was fun. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be something similar. Like, I'll spend a month painting a bunch of stuff. Just like last no this November, I was painting stuff and kind of like showing you guys teasers and stuff, getting you excited for this new series. Um, throughout the month and then like December 1st I'll probably do the auction again because that yeah it was cool and then I'm making prints of all of them as well so the prints will be released in January it was a very fun process for me I really do think I'm gonna do it again and I got lots of great feedback like everyone enjoyed it there's some auction winners in here just like Sig was saying, she said she died over her. She won the big, the big guy. So there was like, what is it, like 40, 32 by 48 inches or something. And uh, she got to put it up above her bed. And realistically, again, this is another optional piece for our step for you guys. We can go and start just outlining very roughly to outline our snow if you want it's the most amazing thing in my house oh my gosh sweet angel I tried but got outbid okay yeah I don't truthfully I don't know I've hardly been in I was in like silent auctions back in the day like trade shows and stuff for fundraisers for sports but I've never been on like a digital one like that it was like anxiety written for me, just like refreshing and seeing. I couldn't imagine being in it. Adrenaline rush, exactly. Exactly. And telescope, are you seeing someone? Yes. I am in a very long term relationship. <laughs> He's Daniel. Many of you guys know him as just the hand that sometimes comes in and provides me with snacks in the middle of live streams. <laughs> it's usually who? But we've been together for a long time. We've went to high school together. And are you doing digital art as well or planning? Digital art is difficult for me because I know how to do everything traditionally already. So when I try to do it digitally and I can't do something I know how to do traditionally, I get very frustrated very easily, very quickly. I wish I could do digital and I was good because it's like faster and easy like easy to like undo and stuff like that but I'm a traditional gal till the end I digitally tweak or alter my prints or my paintings so that I can make them their best when I reprint them but uh, no I'm, I'm a traditional to the core something about just paint oh wow I just smudged this whole thing just something about a paintbrush to the pal uh, to a canvas that just there's nothing like it oh my gosh you guys I didn't give our bird a wing 
Okay, okay, okay. Quickly. <laughs> We're just going to draw a line straight down. Look, there's his armpit. Easy. <laughs> and then this line will kind of curve with the shape of the egg down. See that there? It gives you wings! And you're going to do that same old process as we did. Just swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up. And now he has a wing. Look at that. Easy as pie. And, like, see how the outline of the snow is, like, irregular? It's inconsistent. There's different strengths. Strengths. Thicknesses. I don't know why I said strengths. Um, the eyes. Good call, kiddo. Literally just a white splotch in there. We made those circles, and we're just going to put a spot right at the top of it. And now it looks like he has eyeballs. Oops. Hey. How is that? And again, in the original that we're looking at here, I outlined the birds again in white. That is very up to you. But you guys are outlined pros now. Thin brush, a nice amount of water on your brush so that it pulls smoothly, but not too much water. And remember, the white is kind of a nice, too. Like, if you want to clean stuff up, if you made any mistakes, yada yada. Oh, gosh. Get in there. I know. I know. It's crazy. Why did I put two eye lines the first time? I don't know. Very optional. You totally don't have to do it. I'm just going for accuracy of the last painting. I don't remember why I outlined it again. I am an artist who heavily depends, oops, oh, that's what I've been doing. I'm an artist who heavily depends on outline. My, like, art school teachers probably still hate it. <laughs> but I just love what a nice, clean line can do. It looks like my camera's out of focus. Okay, how is that? And he, like again, if you want, you can outline his belly. You don't gotta. Outlining and like having a smooth hand all just comes with practice as I mess up that line and don't have a smooth hand. How's that? I think that's about it. We've got two little cardinals. Cardinals. You can outline the berries with black if you want. There's lots of different things you can do. Let me see here if my computer will let me see your pictures because it's still frozen from last time I tried. Okay, cool. I'm literally, we're done. I'm just going to show what other people's look like and we're good. I would say it looks soothing. It is soothing. Outlining soothing, you guys. Okay, my computer just is having a full mental breakdown. 
Like it's honestly, remember what was it like an hour ago when I told you guys it wouldn't load? It's still stuck on that screen. I'm gonna look at my phone here quick and see if I can show you guys that way. Okay, you guys. We've got a freestyler. Would you look at those pine cones? Okay. I'm going to, I just have to make sure that my camera does autofocus and you can see. Yeah, she nailed the pine needles. I don't know why my computer just can't live right now. Maybe we'll show better here. Can you guys see? Look how good she did. Uh, man. Okay, let's see. I took the autofocus off. Let's see if we can get somewhere. Okay. I hate that I have to do this on my phone and I can't do it on- Oh, there's paint on my phone, not on your painting. Guys, this is my broken, smashed phone, so hopefully you can see through. Beautiful. Oh, right now we're in the works of fixing the left cardinal. Oh, I think you just didn't like the shape of the head. That's okay, though. They look great to me. Fixing the cardinal. Yeah, but you've got nice. Everything else turned out great. Wow, this one's pretty too. All of you did a good job. Oh, so close. Ah, kissing birds. What else do we got here? Oh, this one's cute too. Hey Siri, focus the camera. Oh gosh, just kidding Siri. Don't listen to me. Look how good. <laughs> it literally just opened my camera. They're less thick, but still Gucci. <laughs> I love that. Mine usually turn thick. Oh, this one's great too. Love. I love the freestyle branches. Oh, nice blue. Come on, focus. Now, all these people are sending them. Sorry, Holly, I should probably keep you posted. They are sending them on Instagram. If you have Instagram, my Instagram is the same as caffeine here down at the bottom, Tateski. And they have direct messaged it to me. And usually I can show you guys on my computer, but um, it's being weird. Just like my microphone and my life, it sucks at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why that won't load. Let's see, do I got any more on here? Oh yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, nailed it. Oh, come on camera, where are you? Look at that one too. Oh, oh, here we go, and it'll focus. Now, beautiful. Look at them kissing birdies. Oh. So glad you made it. Oh, we got another one here. We got another one. Let me get you in here. Hey. Oh, there's a lot of you today. Okay, it's frozen, but can we see it? Is it gonna go? There we go. Oh, kissing birdies. Love 
it. Did I show everybody? Did I miss anybody? Oh, I know, passive light, you're waiting for yours to dry. <laughs> How do they kiss with beaks? I know, hey, that's a good question. They just poke each other. Oh, oh, I think I got another one. I got another one. Oh, of course, the drapes. Uh. You guys, the drapes are already professionals. They've been here like, what, four or five times? And they're just pros. But then I think I saw you say, Mom and Dad drapes joined in too on Zoom. It's a family affair. It's not the first time we've had all the drapes together. Oh, I hope you guys had fun. I love when you guys come. Wow, you all four of you nailed it. Perfect. <laughs> A picture of all of us together. It's great. <laughs> oh, you guys. Love that. The best time. Oh. I am so happy you all enjoyed it. So fun. Follow Jill. I'm happy you enjoyed. You came at one too, or I'm just obviously again my technical difficulties often. I'm sorry about the sound. I have a week to solve the sound problem. All you guys dropping me the donuts. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all. I'm so glad you still love the pay. Oh, look at this. I was too quick to the jump. Oh, girl. We've got another. We've got another beauty. Oh, come on. And she said that she thinks the eyes are weird, but she's happy. I don't think the eyes are weird, but... The easiest way to solve that is literally just cover up the white spot you made with black. Like, just color it in black and maybe just bring his eye over, like, bring the white spot over a little bit. But realistically, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Dang, you were Christmas shopping and missed. That's okay. It was a disaster. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Christmas shopping's important to you. You're catching me right as I'm on my way out. Good to see you for a minute. Merry Christmas, Nurse O'Shea. Merry Christmas, everybody, really. Who are we kidding? Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. I was going to say I won't see you before Christmas, but maybe I will now, you know? Maybe I will. It won't be on Christmas Eve. I'm for sure taking Christmas Eve off. <laughs> but maybe Tuesday, depending on what my work life looks like. No, not harder than we thought. Oh, I was a mess. My microphone was a mess. My computer was a mess. But it actually went really well. Everyone did actually great. So, that'll be fine. This will be my thumbnail. It's always just me with my mouth open. <laughs> but I'm a hungry gal. I haven't ate dinner yet. So, Delaney goofed her bird's head real bad. Send me a DM. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. But we'll fix it. Okay? I goofed my bird's head. <laughs> That's funny. One of them looks like Mike Wazowski bird. <laughs> Okay, so I'm imagining we're going to have to work with the black facial features. That's fine. Remember, no full mistakes. We can fix it. I have full confidence. Send me an, a DM and we'll resolve it. Oh, you did. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yes. You just got to bring that eye down. <laughs> That's so funny. If you guys, the Mike Wazowski of birds. Just, he just needs to bring the eye to there. Literally cover it with white, paint it with red fully, and bring it down a smidgen. Or keep him as Mike Wazowski of birds, because that's cool too. <laughs> I actually like him that way. You probably should keep him. 
I love that. Okay, everybody. Thanks again. Merry Christmas. Thanks for the props. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for convincing me you want to hang out with me next week, and I'll try to make that work. And we'll go from there. But if I don't come back, you guys know there's like 40 paint nights on my YouTube, which is pretty crazy to think about. But I think there's over 40 videos. So you can find something that you haven't painted before. I personally, if you want, what, the sunflower was a lot of fun. You use Q-tips. That's fun. Baby Yoda is a fan favorite, obviously. Yeah. You guys know what's up. I don't have ideas, Ashlyn, because I honestly wasn't even going to stream. But y'all talked me into it. I'm a sucker for peer pressure. <laughs> okay, you guys, you're the best. Thanks again. And Merry Christmas if I don't see you, okay? But see you soon enough. Bye! <laughs>